What I'm going to show you now is um, another little trick, single pin picking again. Uh, just put the key in. You can see all the pins are there for the shear line, that's what it needs to look like. Obviously it's easy because we can see it's a cutaway lock. Uh, it's just so you understand how it's all working inside the lock. See now all the pins have dropped. Just putting the tension wrench in which it annoyingly slips constantly because I've got the shape of the vice pushes it out. Um, what I'm going to do, I've got my up pick again. It's a little trick I use on, especially on the cheaper locks. You put this picking upside down to the back of the lock, lift all the pins up, apply some pressure to your tension wrench, take the pick out and then work your way again through the pins. It tends to hold two or three of the pins up for you. Again, it's not going to work on your decent locks. There you go, put the picking upside down and you can see looking at that it almost looks like all of them but the back one are virtually at the shear line which makes speeds up your single pin picking so the front two look alright and they're holding fairly well number four seems like it'll drop into place nicely number three which was a problem one I just heard it click then so if we can get this back pin up now I'm assuming like that, the lock's going to go, that's the lock open. That's just another little trick for you newbies starting off for single pin picking.